Hello everybody, my name is Harrison, I am your host for today, and today we will be talking about the University of Washington sitting at 28-14, and 14, and they are surprising absolutely everybody this year with just how good they are doing. Now, the University of Washington is currently sitting at 28-14, and 14, like I said, with probably their two most impressive feats of this season, where they, sw where they took two of three from number seven ranked UCLA, who we now know has not had a great season. But then they took a game against Stanford, where everybody thought they were going to get swept because Stanford is one of the best teams in the country and probably has one of the best rosters in the country. They should not have took a game against them, and yet they did in a shutout 9 to nothing victory. They also made that series very, very close as they never lost any of their games by more than two runs. So that just gives you an insight onto how this team really works. Now, if we take a look at their hitting stats as a team, they have a really, really good hitting stats with a team average of 285. A team average. That's not a player. A team. So even for a player, that's really good. But the team has that average. Now, hits. They have 429 hits as a team, 70 doubles, only two triples on the season, but 59 home runs. Gone forever! Which is a really good amount right now, considering they play in the Pac-12, which is more of a small ball-based offense. So they are doing very good in that department. 263 RBIs with a 452 slugging, a 386 on-base percentage, which is really, really good for a team and a 979 fielding percentage, which is above a lot of MLB teams' fielding percentages. 388 strikeouts to 197 walks. So, that's about half. That's pretty good. And then they have gotten hit by a pitch 64 times. So, they are not... They're very willing to uh, just stay in that box and get hit. Now, we go down to their pitching, and their pitching has been... Pretty good this year. Only 13 saves because they don't really need too many saves. Uh, starters, their starters have been meh. Uh, their bullpen's not been good this year. That's the one thing that's kind of throwing them off this year is their bullpen has not been very good. Uh, sitting at a team ERA of 5.4.58. 42 appearances from the bullpen. So they're five, one of their best starters, his name is Lord Kiefer. He has a 3.63 ERA, sitting at 5-3. 62 innings pitched, good amount. He has 67 strikeouts to 15 walks, 7 home runs given up, 1 triple, 16 doubles. They do not balk a lot. They have 6 balks over the season. Obviously, nobody wants to balk, but it is just a process of what happens during the season is you do end up balking some. Now... If we go and take a look at their schedule, they have played mostly Pac-12 teams with a few out of conference. Starting off their season not on a great note, dropping 2 of 4 against Santa Clara, so they sit at 2 and 2. And then they go against San Jose State where they just sweep them. And they're now sitting at 5 and 2 after that sweep where they go and play Northern Colorado. They sweep them in a four game series, so they're sitting at 9 and 2. But here's the most interesting thing. They probably played in one of the highest scoring offenses by any singular offense in the whole entire college baseball season. Where they scored 32 against Northern Colorado in a 32-7 to win. Um, so that's very, very impressive. Took one game against Portland to sit at 10-2. and Where they then took two of three against Utah. Now they're sitting at 12-3. and um, Now they play Rhode Island. Now, Rhode Island never been really a big baseball school. Well, they lost their first game 6-9 to nine, and then immediately came back. Uh, dropped one to Tulane, so not great right there. And then this is where it gets interesting, where they take two of three from number seven ranked UCLA. Now, obviously, UCLA is not ranked there right now, but at the hot start of the season, UCLA was a very, very hot team. Didn't feel like a lot of people could beat them because not a lot of people could. And Washington took two of three from them. Uh, their only loss, they lost by five, uh, four. They lost one to five. So obviously not a great loss. But they took two of three from them. Then they beat Portland. 
beat uh took one from Oregon State. Pretty pretty good baseball team right there. Um, and then they came into Arizona, dropped two. So not on a great stretch right now. Then they lo- dropped one against ASU and beat them once. Um, and they were ranked number twenty two at the time. So a ranked wins a ranked win. And then they went into Stanford, where first game they lost one to three in extra innings. But this is the catch: extra innings they went to sixteen, and they lost one to three. So very very good game right there. And then they shut them out nine to zero, a nine to zero shutout, which is very very impressive. Where they proceeded to lose the next game six to eight. So obviously you don't want to lose, but. When they take one from number nine ranked Stanford is very impressive, and they did not lose any game by more than two, so that's something to take away. They went into USC and sweep them, fourteen to twelve, seven to six, and four to one. They beat Seattle pretty easily, nine to four, and then they went into their in-state rivals, Washington State. They took two of three from them, going one and two. They lost their first game one to two. Um, and then beat them 6-2 to two and 8-2. to two. So that had to have felt pretty good for them. And that will be it for the video. I uh, hope to see you guys soon. And goodbye.